dust, clean water and sewerage are but a few of the health issues faced by residents of Ward 5 in Jose Grahamstown. It can't be that bad, you say, but how much do you really know? Makana Municipality Media and Communications Officer Tandi Matabese comments on the measures government is taking to improve the state of health in the township. Three women also invite us to take a look at the health realities of living in Ward 5. And you know Zukil and Dubella, the Shala E Transit Camp, God and Gogis into the two Ziawa, because Guyaneta Abanyabandu, Goku Bayakula, Aba Pezul, Goku Kuza, Tuabakoi funeral, and Apa Ezans, Verguza Bakoi funeral, and another one Abanya Abandu, Banez Fu Babayakula, but Apa Gulenda Vietu, Kukutasti Apa in Ninzi Apitu. Matabese explains that while the Mekana municipality is trying to improve the water supply to the area, providing water sources to every household is near to impossible. With the new housing developments, we are trying to ensure that the houses that we provide, they come with water tanks. Unfortunately, we cannot provide water tanks to all houses. Bukiwe Wakashi feels that despite the government's efforts, the water situation continues to affect residents' daily routines. Water is a terrible thing here because our water is not clean and we are struggling to get water sometimes because we are using one tap here and on that tap you will see there's a lot of people there and we are standing in, in the queue for a long time although we are rushing to work. So you need to go to the tap early maybe at 5 a.m or 6 a.m. in the morning, because if you'll go there at 8 o'clock, you'll see there's a lot of queue. Many residents outlined water quality as a major health issue, but Matabese explains that the colour of the water does not distinguish its class. Being clear does not necessarily mean it's the safest water, or if it's brownish in colour, does not mean it's not safe. The water that we provide as a municipality is safe to drink. That has been tested by even your independent institutions. Sometimes due to maintenance, then we have challenges of our water not looking as nice as one would like it to look. Ndubela's 21-year-old son has been sick for three months, and she's struggling to nurse him back to health. The young man has a severe kidney infection and has to drink eight glasses of water a day to flush out his system. Amanzi, our lapa etepin, akako clean, a amta, akako clean, then amanzi, se intombi yami and tenge lapa etown. Yes, it's, it's fab. Zindala imoto apapande asquaz ngoguyo kalamanzi pa. A bathroom is a basic human right. While the majority of homes have outside toilets, only a few are actually functioning and useful to the residents of Ward 5. Wakashe, who works at the Rhodes University Daycare Centre, explains how employed residents deal with the problem. We use the pit latin toilets. We don't use the flush toilet, although some of us have got access to the flush, but we can't use it because the storage system are not working. They are using the pit latrines, whereas they have the waterborne toilets. On our records, we don't have the pit latrine toilet in that area because we have provided you with the waterborne toilet. So obviously we would not be servicing it. Our only concern now would be the waterborne. Wakasha complains that government services in the area are extremely slow and sometimes the municipality simply doesn't arrive. However, Matabese understands the system to be a simple one. When you go to municipality, they take a long time to come to, to clean up the toilets because they said you must call the municipality, call them and tell them that our toilets are full. They promise us all the time that they will come and clean your toilets. Then you tell them that it's not healthy. You need to help yourself when you go to work. Toilets, you can just report that if it needs to be taken care of. While government has issued free refuse bags, often the municipality does not come to pick them up, leaving the bags victim to children and donkeys that roam the streets of Ward 5. Wakasha feels that rubbish bins would be more beneficial to the community. Matabese points out that personal cleanliness is not the government's responsibility. Your rubbish is there in that bin, so no one will take that bin because everyone has got, has got their rubbish bin in his yard. Cleanliness is the responsibility of each and every citizen of Makana. The municipality can only do so much. I'm going to challenge them and say they are not serious about it because they have meetings, but they don't name and shame the individuals that make their, their areas dirty. The residents should make use of the containers. Take note of the days when we collect. Nombolelo Seme has three children who have been taken by social workers in the area because her living conditions are so poor. She lost her partner in September and now, without her children, lives a lonely life. 
When posed a question about what she expects from the government, her answer was simple. <coughs> Perhaps her silence says it all. Unanswered requests have left the people of Ward 5 with little hope for the future.